Hey guys, if you are interested in selling online courses or doing coaching, but you never really figured out what exactly you could teach people that they would be willing to pay you for, then this is absolutely gonna be the video for you. So you know if you watch my, my recent video here about how to make a doctor's salary working from home part-time, that this is an amazing business, that you can make a lot of money selling courses and coaching with really very little work and a lot of flexibility. So maybe you thought about that, maybe you think that sounds like a great idea, but you're not really quite sure what to teach, or maybe you've tried to do this in the past, but you haven't really gotten a lot of traction, then this video is gonna be extremely helpful for you. I'm gonna give you a ton of ideas. Now, the way that I do this, it follows a five-step formula, as you can see here. Step number one is the question. So what this is, is I'm gonna ask you a whole lot of questions that you can brainstorm the answers to and the answers to those questions will help you figure out things that you could teach other people. Now, I'm gonna read through, there are a lot of these, so I'm just gonna read them off of a notebook here. Now, don't feel like you have to take notes really fast as I'm, I'm reading all of this. I'm actually gonna give you a little cheat sheet that you can download that has all of these and probably more as I think of them. So I'll put the link uh, below if you'd like to download that for free. So, first question, do you have a job that other people would like to have? that you could teach other people how to get. So for example, I have a very successful program teaching people how to get jobs as data analysts. I worked as a data analyst for a long time. It's a great job. There's a lot of remote opportunities. It pays very well. It's pretty uh, laid back. And so a lot of people would love to have that job. And so I, can, I created a course showing people how to get that job. And so if you have a job, and it doesn't have to be the greatest job in the world, it just has to be a job that's better than the position somebody else is already in. If you can show somebody to have the job that you have, then they'll be willing to pay you a lot of money for that. Second question, can you help somebody improve their job performance? So let's say that you work in sales. Can you help somebody to double their sales? Maybe you work on a car lot, you sell cars. Can you help somebody to double their sales on the car lot? If so, that's worth a lot of money to that person. Uh, third question, did you pass a test or did you get a certification that you can help other people with? That you got a high score or you qualified and you could teach other people to get the test, like a medical licensing exam or a, um, or a computer certification, something like that. Is there something that you've done in the past that you can help other people through uh, that would be valuable to them? Fourth question, have you started a business that you can teach other people to start. And, and by the way, I'm gonna stop giving examples for all of these because it's gonna make the video really long. But um, I, on the cheat sheet that, again, I will, I will let you download for free, I will give you examples for every one of these categories. So that was number four. Uh, could you teach somebody to start a business? Have you had a business in the past that you could teach other people to start? Uh, question five. Uh, can you teach people to improve their business in some way? Is there some way that they can get more sales or they can get more customers or they can get more money per sale, something like that in their business? Next question, do you have a hobby that is valuable to people that they would pay you to teach them to do your hobby better? Uh, next question, do you have an award or accomplishment, something that you have achieved or some award that you have gotten that other people would like to get and be willing to pay you for? Next question, are you able to make friends? Are you able to make a particular kind of friends that get you some sort of benefit? Uh, next question, are you good at getting dates? Can you teach other people to get dates? Next question, can you teach people to find love? Um, and, and you can be more specific about that. So for example, uh, my wife is Brazilian. I could teach people how to uh, find love with a Brazilian woman. Next question, could you teach people how to get a following on social media, on some social media platform? Next question, could you teach people how to lose weight? Next question, could you teach people how to gain muscle? Um, I'm gonna stop saying next question. Uh, could you teach people how to improve their hormones, how to raise their testosterone level or their progesterone level or decrease their cortisol, something like that? Uh, could you teach people how to have spiritual experiences? I saw a guy that was teaching a course on how to astral project. And this was an ad I saw on Facebook that 
was it, running a while and had quite a lot of likes, so I assume it was a good ad that it was working. And, and so if you're not familiar with astral projection, what that means is that your soul leaves your body and basically is free to go wherever it wants, uh, which is very interesting that, 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 that people will pay for that because we all have this innate sense, uh, in my belief, that we are souls that are essentially trapped in this body during this temporary human experience and so we have this innate desire to be free of that and so it's interesting to see that that's actually a very successful course offering but any kind of spiritual experience that um, makes gives people that feeling of freedom you know people may well be willing to to pay for it. could you teach people to improve their relationship to improve their relationship with their spouse with their boyfriend or girlfriend, uh, with their mother-in-law, with their family, with their kids, any kind of relationships you could improve. Uh, could you teach people how to beat or relieve a disease, how to get over arthritis or how to beat cancer? You have to be a little careful with that one because there are certain claims that are regulated. Uh, but if you can teach people how to get rid of some bodily affliction that is bothering them, then they'll absolutely be willing to pay for that. Could you teach people how to beat some mental issue or mental disorder? Like, uh, could you teach people how to get over depression or how to get over anxiety or how to get over post-traumatic stress disorder, something like that? <clears throat> could you teach people how to be better looking? Could you teach people how to have better skin? Could you teach people how to have better fashion that's more flattering for them? Maybe people with a particular type of figure. Could you teach people how to cook better? Could you teach people how to travel better or cheaper or to uh, find better deals on stuff? Could you teach people to find other stuff for free or to get stuff for cheap or get discounts or save money? Could you teach people how to build a social or religious organization? Uh, how to get more congregants for your church? Something like that. Could you teach people how to invest, how to invest in retirement, how to make money in Bitcoin, how to day trade in the stock market? Could you teach women how to have babies, how to be more fertile, how to have a more healthy pregnancy? Or could you teach people how to negotiate their salary? I mean, if you could teach someone to negotiate their salary up by $5,000, which isn't that much, right? If you could teach someone to negotiate $5,000 higher per year, one time, over the course of a career, let's say a 40 year career, and you that becomes the baseline for every single year after that, well that becomes what's 5,000 times 40. That's $200,000, that's worth a lot of money if you can teach someone to do that. So those are the questions to ask yourself. I know I went through those really fast, but again, I will give you a free cheat sheet that will have all of those listed so you don't have to try and write them all down. Uh, so that's step one. Now step two is the thousand dollar test. The thousand dollar test is simply to ask yourself for everything that you wrote down, would somebody be willing to pay me a thousand dollars or more in order to learn this thing? So let's consider a few examples. If you could teach somebody to earn a hundred thousand dollars in the stock market, would that be worth paying you a thousand dollars? Well, yeah, obviously it would. Uh, would it be worth a thousand dollars to teach somebody how to find the love of their life? Well, yeah, probably so. Would it be worth a thousand dollars to teach somebody how to have a great relationship with their kids? Yeah, that'd be worth a thousand dollars. Would it be worth a thousand dollars to teach somebody how to be better at playing solitaire? Well, that, eh, probably not right? You know, just ask yourself, as a reasonable, normal person, would this thing be worth a thousand dollars or more? There's a lot of things that are, but there are things that aren't, you know? If you could teach somebody uh, how to collect all of the Pokemon and Pokemon Go, would that be worth a thousand dollars? Well, I'm not a Pokemon player, but I would guess probably not. I mean, unless you find people that are really fanatical about it. And some of these are going to be subjective, right? So some of these, uh, you, if you know how to do these things yourself, you're probably going to understand the market better than someone like me who's just looking in from the outside, you know, in this example with the Pokemon. Maybe it really is worth $1,000 to people, and if so, then you found an awesome niche. But for everything that you wrote down in step one, everything that you wrote as an answer to those questions that could potentially be a course or coaching package, uh, write a yes or no, or, or just oh, better yet, just cross out all the ones that are not worth $1,000, that fail the $1,000 test. 
Okay, so that's step two. Now step three, add an as a. Now this is something that you're gonna be able to do for some, but not for others. And when I say add an as a, I mean as a person in this particular situation, right? So some of them are going to be a lot more compelling if you're somebody, especially in a disadvantaged situation of some way. So, so let me go through a few examples. Uh, could you say how to do X as a man, how to do it as a woman? Or it could be uh, on an age dimension. So how to get hired at this job as a teenager, how to get hired at this job as a senior citizen, how to build muscle when you're over 50 years old, something like that. The next thing is a disease or a condition. So you could say uh, how to start XYZ business as a deaf person, how to uh, get XYZ job as a blind person, how to travel if you have arthritis, you know, something along those lines. Uh, next one, predispositions. So how to date effectively as somebody who's very shy. It could be as an immigrant or as a foreigner. So how to sell courses on the internet as an Indian, how to find a husband as an immigrant that doesn't speak English very well, something like that. Uh, and then the last one I have is as with a mental problem. So how to date effectively if you have debilitating anxiety, how to make friends with Asperger's. So that's step three is add an as a. So that makes it, uh, it makes it a lot more relatable for a lot of people. I remember actually the first time that I ever tried to uh, sell something online, my, my theme was how to build muscle as a hard gainer, basically as a skinny guy with a high metabolism that was very difficult for me to put on any weight because what I had found in the market is that most fitness products were aimed at people who were overweight, who had a hard time with losing weight. Well, I had exactly the opposite problem. I was very skinny. I didn't want to be very skinny. I wanted to gain muscle, and so I kind of figured out how to do it, and I was reasonably successful with it. And so I decided that I was going to do a how to gain muscle as a hard gainer, that is, as a skinny guy that had a hard time putting on muscle. So I realized that in my position that, you know, I was, I, I was in good shape, but I was pretty pretty weak compared to some of these guys teaching how to gain muscle. And so I figured if I add this as a hard gainer, then all of a sudden I have an advantage in the marketplace because of my disadvantaged situation. So if you can do that, that's awesome. Uh, a lot of times you don't have to, right? This is very context specific. It depends which question you're answering. So for example, my course on how to be a data analyst, I don't have an as a. I don't say how to, be, how to get a job as a data analyst as a, a guy in his 20s, right? There's not really any reason for me to do that because I don't have any particular disadvantage in that situation. And it also has to do with what your competition is. So there really are not a lot of people out there teaching people how to be data analysts, so I don't have to refine it down. I don't have to pick a, a smaller niche. But if you're in a place where there's a lot of competition, so how to make money online, how to lose weight, how to gain muscle, that kind of thing, there's a lot of competition. And so you might want to add the as a because somebody who is in your situation is going to find that a lot more compelling. They're going to see these courses on how, let's say uh, your course is how to lose weight as a pregnant woman. And so you think about all the pregnant women that are seeing these, these programs on how to lose weight and they think, oh, well, that's probably not gonna work for me because of my situation as a pregnant woman. And then all of a sudden they see your course, how to lose weight as a pregnant woman, and that's a lot more compelling to them uh, because that's exactly their situation. Okay, now step four is add a four. That is add a particular application. Like you're gonna learn how to do this thing for this particular application. Again, this is optional. This is not going to apply to everything, but uh, it might help you to target your, your program a little bit better. So let me give you a few examples. So maybe you're gonna teach people how to cook better, but you wanna narrow that down a little bit. You wanna make it a little bit more specific. So you say, okay, I'm gonna teach you how to cook in order to win a barbecue contest, or I'm gonna teach you how to cook uh, in a way that gets your kids to enjoy eating healthy. Or maybe you want to teach a foreign language. So instead of, let's say you want to teach Chinese, but 
teaching Chinese by itself is not really that good a value proposition. You could say, I'm going to teach you Chinese so that you can make lots of money in international trade. Right? That's a much more compelling proposition, even though it's really teaching the same thing. Uh, you could say, maybe you teach flexibility. You could say, instead of just, I teach you to be more flexible, I teach you to be flexible so that you can be better at martial arts. Right? It's a particular application. Or if you want to teach people how to get a social media following, uh, maybe you, you show people how to get a social media following for sponsorships, or maybe make it more specific, how to get uh, 10,000 followers on Instagram so that people will reach out to you for sponsorships, something like that. So step four, add a four. Uh, any particular applications that you can come up with might make your pitch better. And again, this depends on what thing that you're teaching. In some cases, it'll make it better. Some cases, it will make the, uh, the, the market so small that it's not even going to be worth it. And you got to kind of balance those out. So for example, that, that uh, um, the first example I gave was for cooking. So you say cooking to win barbecue contest. Well, how many people are really entering barbecue contests? Probably not a lot. That's probably too specific. That's probably narrowing down your market too much so that it's gonna, yes, it's gonna be compelling to a few people, but not enough people to make it worth it. Whereas the second example I gave was to cook better in order to get your kids to eat healthy. That's a lot broader. There's a lot more people that are gonna be interested in getting their kids to eat healthy than people that are gonna be interested in winning barbecue competitions. Okay, so that's step four, and then step five is to learn or demonstrate. So this is probably you don't need step five. Most people won't need step five. Probably with the first four steps, you will have something really strong already. However, if you could not think of anything, you can't think of anything that somebody is willing to pay $1,000 for, think about something that you don't know how to do yet, but that you could learn, right? There are a ton of things on that list of questions that you could learn fairly easily that would be worthwhile to people because maybe they've just never taken the time to learn or they just haven't had the resourcefulness to learn. Maybe you could just find something that you would like to know how to do and then read some books on it, watch some videos on it, uh, listen to some podcasts on it. Just become an expert in that little niche and it can be something really tiny. In fact, there's a really good example that I saw recently. There's this guy who focuses his business 100% on helping people's email deliverability. So for companies and businesses that have an email list, they send emails to customers trying to get them to buy more stuff. And uh, that email if it goes to customers with a Gmail address, which most people now are using Gmail, that email might go to the primary tab and it might go to the promo tab. Now, if it goes to the primary tab, people see it a lot more than the promo tab. People generally tend to ignore their promo tabs. And so what this guy has made his business all about is just configuring your email system so that Google classifies your emails into the primary tab instead of the promo tab. So this is something that's super specific, uh, but it's worth a lot of money. And probably this, if you were to really get into it, you could probably learn everything there is to know about email deliverability in a few weeks, right? And, and most people don't ever bother to get into this. Most people uh, roll their eyes at this kind of thing and don't ever want to learn this stuff. So this is a great niche that this guy found and probably was able to teach himself uh, very quickly. And it's a huge value proposition because a company is potentially losing tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, even millions of dollars because people are not opening their emails. So this is really easy to learn, right? And it's also easy to demonstrate. Like he can actually have you send an email and, and show you whether it goes to the primary tab or the promo tab. So it's, uh, it's easy to learn, it's easy to demonstrate, and it passes the $1,000 test with flying colors because it could be worth millions, you know, depending on the size of the business and how many emails they sent. So if you don't know something now, you could always learn and you could probably learn pretty fast to get to a point where people would be willing to pay you $1,000 or more. So 
That should give you a ton of ideas. Again, go ahead and download the free cheat sheet below if you would like to have this all written out for you with examples of every single one. And then if you would like to actually have me hold your hand and work face to face with you to create the perfect product for you and not only to choose a product but also go through exactly how to market it how to run ads how to create a funnel every single step of the process uh, in a way a, a repeatable formula that i have used successfully multiple times to create five figure a month businesses if you would like to have me hold your hand through every step of the process then I am considering opening a coaching program in the near future where I'm going to do exactly that for you. I'm actually gonna work with you live. We are going to discuss face to face. I'm gonna help you choose the perfect offer. I'm gonna help you to do every step of the process. So if you're interested in that, I will put a link to that down below as well. Just answer a few questions about yourself. Again, this is something that is really not set in stone at this point. I don't know exactly when or what I'm gonna do with this. Um, but if that's something that's of interest to you and you want to get in on the ground floor uh, at the lowest price and with maximum um, face-to-face -face communication with full support, then uh, go ahead and click that link below. Just answer a few questions about you and I'll be in touch with you as soon as I have something ready to go. So I hope you found this helpful. If so, I'd appreciate if you hit the thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel. And then if you haven't already, I recommend that you go ahead and watch this video all about how to get paid the same salary as a doctor working part-time from home doing exactly this sort of business.